Hey guys, um, welcome back to Dorm Room Dining. I'm doing another video post this week because I am actually going to answer some of the questions that I've gotten from you guys um, regarding dorm room dining, regarding me, kind of, and also a couple questions that are just kind of general FAQs about um, dorm life and eating in the dorms and stuff like that. So the first one is um, one of those general FAQs, and it's um, what appliances are typically allowed in the dorm room. Um, as you can probably tell, a lot of my recipes are just made in the microwave because honestly, that's really the only appliance that most universities let you have. Every university um, has different rules, of course. You can check them out typically on your housing website. Um, just look there and see what they say. Um, some universities do allow you to have like hot plates, which is great. Arizona State does not let you do that, unfortunately. So for me, I have my microwave and my fridge, and that's kind of it. Um, where do you find your recipes was a question I got. Um, my recipes kind of come from a mix of things I found online through Pinterest, great website, or Tumblr sometimes even, um, or even just like modifications of things that I use a real kitchen for um, that I just like to eat and wanted to be able to eat in my dorm room that I couldn't because I don't have an actual kitchen, um, that I just found ways to make them work um, in my dorm room. Um, <laughs> I did get asked if I ever eat in the dining hall. Very rarely. <laughs> I've actually only managed to eat one real meal there this entire school year, and it's November. So I actually kind of consider that a good thing. <laughs> um, just kidding, kind of. Um, my meal plan is all m and dollars, so... I typically just go to the store if I end up buying something or I spend a lot of my meal plan money on coffee. But I also eat in the Memorial Union Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that's where a lot of my meal plan goes. And for the most part, the rest of it, I can just I eat things that I make in my dorm room. Um, uh, what are some essential spices? I can only afford a couple. Fair question. Spices are really expensive. I actually kind of got that wake-up call when I was buying food to come back for school this year um, because I really like to put like garlic salt and season salt on things and seasoned pepper. Um, those are not the kind of spices that you guys need to buy though because they are really pricey. Um, this year I've made do with salt and pepper, which is really cheap, um, and cinnamon. Um, I know it's not really like a spice, it's kind of more of like people associate it with being sweet, but you can do a lot with cinnamon. I put it in my oatmeal, I put it on my sweet potatoes, I just, a lot of things can happen with cinnamon. Um, one like spice spice I guess I would really recommend is um, your favorite kind of like salt and pepper I guess. Like some people really like seasoned pepper like I said. Um, I don't have any of that in my room right now, um, but it helps. Also hot sauces, um, it's not really a spice, but... If you're looking to add some flavor to anything, hot sauce or salsa, great way to go. Um, what is your favorite recipe? My personal favorite recipe, um, I'm assuming you mean like my favorite dorm room dining recipe, um, is probably the pizza bagels because I really like pizza and it saves me from ordering myself an entire pizza that I would totally eat to myself. Um, I also really like my oatmeal recipes because... I eat oatmeal pretty much every morning. If I don't eat oatmeal, I usually have cereal, so something along those lines. So having those recipes are really um, good for me because they're like my favorites. Um, and then last but definitely not least, do you have any healthy dessert mug recipes? This is actually my favorite question I got because it has to do with my little promo for next week's post. Um, I do. I have lots of healthy dessert mug recipes. I have a sweet tooth like no other. I love sweets. I love all sorts of sweets. Um, so yes, if you guys have never heard of what a mug recipe is, it's basically an individual cake or pie or brownie or cookie that you can make in a mug in your microwave um, with a couple really simple ingredients. Um, that is actually why I asked you guys to tell me if you wanted cake or pie because next week's um, blog post will be about dessert and those dessert mug recipes will be showcased um, so 
come back in and check in for that. For now, I'm going to post the link for um, the person who asked that. It's going to be below this video to a fantastic website that has about 30 different dessert mug recipes. Um, some are healthy, some aren't. Um, I've modified quite a few of them before to make them more healthy, um, which is what I will be doing next week. So if you want to turn back in for that, you can see that, um, see that going. So yeah. So thanks guys for the questions. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate your guys' um, loyalty, I guess, in reading and watching these posts. Um, it means a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and tune back in next week to try some pie.